Welcome to this training video on the NEC UC Suite client for the SV9100 voice server. In this video, we'll be covering the startup and login of the client, its operation, and how you can adjust its functionality in view. So let's get started. The first step in running the application is to log in. Once you've logged in for the first time, most of these settings are retained for future login. You'll need to know the following. The phone system address. It may either be a name like it is for me, or it may be an IP address that looks something like this. The system web port is usually 80, but it may be different for your installation. You'll need your username and password and then check any of the boxes that apply for your needs. Note CRM, or Customer Relationship Management Integration, is not needed for Microsoft Outlook. Click OK when finished. This is what my client looks like. Now yours may look different and we'll cover how you can change the look and functionality in a couple of minutes. Let's see how my client is laid out. I have a toolbar of features. These are features that would normally require phone buttons or codes to activate. I can choose those that I need and place them where I want them. If I have more features assigned than I have room to display them, these down arrow keys will give me access to them. Let's take a look at how I can select and rearrange them. I click Tools, Preferences, Tool Buttons. I can choose any of these buttons by clicking in the box to the left of the button. Note that each active button has an associated keyboard hotkey. I can move them up or down to place them where I want to see them. I have a busy lamp field tab that allows me to see at a glance the availability of my coworkers or my buddy list. I can click on any one of them to quickly call them. I can right click to dial their alternate numbers, leave them a quick voicemail, or send them an email. What can I see about my coworkers? Well, for starters, on the right side of their button, I can see if they are on the telephone, they're in Do Not Disturb, or if their phone is forwarded somewhere. The left side of the button is their profile picture. These can be turned on or off. In the center, besides seeing their name and extension, I can see their presence, which is a virtual in and out board. If I hover over a profile picture, I can get additional information they have included when they set their presence. Let's look at how you can modify the buttons and then come back to changing your presence. Go to Tools, Preferences. In the General tab, you have the ability to upload or take your profile picture. Modifying buttons is done in the BLF DSS tab. BLF is short for Busy Lamp Field. DSS is short for Direct Station Selection. Managing your BLF group is done by selecting the BLF tab and selecting Properties. Choose Extensions on your right and click Add to add them to your view.
Note that you can significantly modify the view of your client in this tab. Before I leave the tabs window, you can see there are several other tabs that you can change settings to change the way your client operates. I'm going to highlight a couple. Shortcuts. To change your default to either Supervised Transfer, where you can introduce the call, or Immediate, also known as Blind Transfer, where the call leaves your phone immediately, select either Radio button. Voicemail. To set up visual voicemail, select and fill out the items in the Voicemail tab. To change desktop notifications, select the Notification Settings tab and make the changes best suited to you. And last, Instant Message. Select the Instant Message tab to make changes to the way your instant message will function. Let's look at presence. At a glance, I can see my coworkers' presence, and by hovering over their profile picture, I can get additional information. But what if I need to check on another employee that is not in my work group? Click Window, Directory, and View All the Employees. This view is searchable. Just start typing either a first or a last name. To change my presence, I click on this arrow, choose My Presence, and make adjustments to this form as I feel is needed. Note that I can change my phone forwarding, voicemail greeting, and specify an expected return time. Notice how I get call information in this part of the screen. Additional calls may stack below this call if I'm receiving more than one call at a time. To answer a call on my telephone, I can either pick up my handset or click on the ringing call. Once answered, the call appears in my active call window. I can place the call on hold, hang up, or drag the call onto another user's BusyLamp field to transfer it. With a ringing call, I can right mouse click and redirect the call to another extension or send the call directly to my voicemail. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Charlie Nyman. Sorry I can't take your call. Note the color of Ann's name and extension. They're a different color because she's logged in with her client. She's also on the phone and I need to let her know something right away. Here's a good application for Instant Message. Instant Message allows you to carry on a conversation screen to screen with another person running their UC client. You can either right mouse click on their BLF button and choose Instant Message or access Instant Message from a tool button. These messages can be saved automatically or manually if needed. If you need to change any of your settings, you'll find them in Tools, Preferences, Instant Message.
Well, that's what I wanted to show you in this session. There are other settings that you can change to further refine the look and feel of the application. A little experimentation on your part will help you decide on the best set of features that will help you handle calls. And thanks for watching.